All right, so I did a review on the Fight Fight M9. Uh, I did a pretty good job on it, I believe. Uh, things that I like, things that I didn't like. It's a really, really nice lavender mic set. Anyone that's trying to do TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram, anything like that, these are really nice. Uh, I am going to go through it though. So I did a review with this. I've done a review of the Boya. I have yet to have a DJI or Rode. So I was on eBay and I was looking now that the DJI Mic 2 is out. I went to eBay to look to see if I can find anything at a good deal. I was bidding on one and then it, the price went like above 120 bucks. I'm like, okay, these things are you or, you know, use, why are they so much money? So I started looking up and I actually found a brand spanking new one in the package off of Poshmark. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to unpackage this uh, again. This came out in 2022. This comes out in 2024. You, we got a couple year difference. You know, did Fifine do a good job again? compared to what everybody wants the DJI. So I actually got this one actually brand new on Poshmark for a hundred bucks. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna get into sounds. You know, we're gonna see what it sounds like. I'm gonna start right here at my desk and then I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna see what the sound difference is of these. All right, so this is the sound on the DJI. And right now I do have noise cancellation on in my software. So I want you to start with the noise cancellation on with my software first. So again, this is running through Sonar GG with noise cancellation on. If you were to use this in a studio type environment and you wanted this to hold the mic or get a lab and hook up to it and just use this right here, I am going to turn off the noise cancellation. Now, this is, and I have fans in the background and everything else. This is what you should expect, you know, or you already know what to expect from the DJI if you already have one uh, of the DJI Mic 1. So now I'm on the Fifine M9. Again, I'm going to do the same type of comparison. I do have the dead cat on it. Uh, again, this thing is very small, very light. I really wish they had the magnet because, I mean... This thing would have really been fine with a magnet. That would have been perfecto. Uh, I like that it's not this their name plastered all over. It's just a smiley face. I kind of wish that maybe, you know, the ma magnet could have been there to have the smiley face and take the magnet off and use the magnet that, that it, the smiley face would have been black. But, hey, you know, but I'll put that there. So, again, this is the Fifine M9. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the noise suppression off in the sonar. So now this is without noise suppression right here. This is no noise cancellation or nothing like that. Again, make sure that mic's out of my way. This is what it sounds like on the Fifine M9. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Peter Piper pick a pepper. So this is me getting as close as I did with the DJI. Hopefully it's not blowing out your eardrums. All right, so I got the Fifine hooked up. I am talking through the Fifine mic right now. I am going to have my selfie stick with me, and we're going to walk out here. I'm not going to do a distance test or nothing like that. I'm just going to do, if you were out here and you had a camera set up behind you, like what you see there, and you were just out here videotaping like what you would be. You got cars around. I live next to a, a freeway. So, again, this right here, I think, is more than sufficient for as far as way as you need to be from a camera. So... Again, mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. This is on the Fifine M9. I don't think that you need this much distance. This is about 60 foot. I just, maybe even 70, I don't know. Each one of the squares on the ground is four foot and I'm about 20 of them down. So, about somewhere in there. But yeah, no, this is what it sounds like. Again, it's not coming to the phone. It's coming right here through lab mic. So now I'm gonna hook up the DJI and we're gonna look at that one. All right, so now I have the DJI hooked up. Got the DJI on, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to walk down to about where I just was. Uh, again, you know, um, no distance test, nothing like that. We're just seeing how these sound while you're outside with all the elements, birds, cars. You know, uh, it is a little warm today down here in South Texas. But, all right, that's about the same distance right there. Again, like I said, I mean, we're just testing to see what your environment would be if you were out here and recording and doing just like what I'm doing right now. What good would it be if you're out on a, on a scene 
or you're at a show or something and you're doing recording, what all would it sound like? Again, mic check, mic check, one, two, three. This is on the DJI mic. So again, I'm on the DJI mic. Unlike the Fifine, I have the magnet. I can do whatever. The Fifine, you got to uh, find a spot for it, basically, uh, because you can't um, just put it anywhere. Kind of find it. It's in my pocket down here somewhere. But anyways, you have to clip it. There's no magnet like this right here. So, or you have to put it right here on your on the top of your shirt for this one here. All right, so what did y'all think? Uh, I, I listened to a little bit as I'm going through this editing. Uh, I'm giving my final thoughts at the end here. My cat's winding up in my lap right here. Oh, what is it, buddy? <laughs> Good kitty. All right, you got to get down. Not while I'm recording. All right, but anyways, that's Buddy the Cat. He wanted to join in and join me on the on the, the video here. Uh, DJI, I mean, it sounds good. Now, there's certain things like the Fifine, whenever you have it up away, it kind of muffles a little bit. Uh, other than that, I mean, in the M9, the Fifine is keeping up. So now, yes, I told you all I picked this up for 100 bucks on Poshmark. You can get them for 160 on um, Amazon for just a single, if I can get up here, for just a single setup. You, you can get them for, for about uh, 100, I think it's 159. I've seen them on Amazon. Or you get the double set that comes with the charger for 259. Or I've seen them as low as around 220. And the new one, I think, is somewhere around 300 bucks. I don't know. I'll leave affiliate links. If y'all want to buy them, you can buy them. If not, you can't. Uh, but I will, this is going to be the top dog affiliate link down there. This M9 held its own. There is a couple of caveats, though, a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, it go see my initial review of it. Uh, it's not bad. But, I mean, this right here did really, really good. So, Fifine, Fifine did a heck of a job here. So, one of the biggest differences between the uh, transmitters is the DJI, of course, the magnet. That's going to be number one is the magnet on the DJI and, and the Fifi I don't have one. The other one is going to be if you want a lapel mic. You can put a lapel mic, put this on your belt clip, and then run your lapel and put your lapel somewhere around here. That is one of the key features for me. Uh, even though I will be using the DJI, or excuse me, that the M9, I'll be using it because you have two mics. So if I go to a car show or whatever, I can have mine and I can be pointing this one at anybody else and do interviews at different places that I'm going to be going to um, at Christmas and just after Christmas. Other than that, I mean, there's not a huge difference besides one thing, the price. You can pick this thing up for $75 with everything in here. The only thing it can't do is Apple, um, but that, that's it. Uh, I was trying to think. Uh, there was one other cable you can bring... A, Matter of fact, if you have an older phone, and I don't even know many phones that have this anymore. If you have an older phone that is just like this right here, and you have this plug still, you can use that on that phone there. Uh, other than that, there is no Apple support that I see on here uh, whatsoever, which kind of stinks because I do have an old uh, Apple phone that I do like to record because of the 4K capabilities in it. I've never owned Apple. It was one of my wife's old phone. But man, the M9... Keeping up with the DJI, see, that's why I wanted to order it. You know, I didn't need the DJI mic. I only got the DJI mic so I can do comparisons like this right here. So I want like Good Lock and uh, Newer, and there's a couple other ones. Man, I want them to send me some products. That way I can do this same type of review right here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of it. I, I really want to hear. I want to hear what y'all think. If y'all would prefer this two setup with the charging cable, uh, or char charging box everything in here for $75 or 150 for just the DJI and uh, the receipt the, the microphone and receiver and the ability just to use it on iPhone I, I get for iPhone users that might be a big big ordeal right there and if that's a big deal go ahead and check out my review on the uh, um, Boya uh, I'll leave a link down in the description as well for the Boya the Boya is just like this and that is gonna be my next video and then if y'all haven't seen already, go ahead and check out my video. 
Go check out my video by Fly Digi, the Vader 4 Pro. It's the newest one. Been out for like a month or whatever. I'll go ahead and leave it down here in one of these bottom corners right here. Uh, go check it out. I have like 2,000 views in, in a week on it. Um, really good execute. I think I did a real good job executing the video. But uh, I'm trying to up my game a little bit, trying to get more more subscribers out here. This is what I want to do. I want to bring you honest reviews, real time. No one sponsored nothing. Yes, Fi Fine sent this out for me, but for my review, my review alone. And I I talk dog crap. And if you don't believe me, I talk dog crap. Then go ahead and check out the uh, the Fi Fine M9 review. I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you in the next one.